Okay, this is task nine, miscellaneous inspection and parking brake. So the first thing we're going to do is looking our, look at our parking brake. Uh, we're just looking at it on the trainer here just to kind of give you an idea of what to look for. Um, you want to check the brake cables here next to the wheels and just see how far they go up. And you can see, want to look for any fraying on the cable itself here or on this side. The other thing we want to do is actually pull the handle. We're going to pan over this way a little bit. All right. We want to pull this handle, and it should only go up about seven or eight clicks, two to thir two thirds of the way up. But I can pull this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, that's way too far. Um, that's going to indicate that our parking brakes are not adjusted correctly, so we're, need, we're going to need to make an adjustment. So um, go ahead and let's loosen this. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and come over to our drum brake over here, and we're going to go ahead and take this off. Now I want to check this. I want to make sure it's not binding actually before I take this off, and it's not. It's it's spinning fairly nicely. It's making contact a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take that off, um, and we want to adjust this. Our adjustment wheel. We're going to have to come over here and look at this from the top here. And right here is our adjustment wheel. Okay, we're going to adjust this right here. And here's a little lock right here that locks this so it can only go one way. Um, it should be going down actually. And we can actually adjust this from, from the back. The little hole right here is a little open spot, so we can get our what's called our brake adjustment spoon. No, I can't eat with this, but they call it a spoon, and we can get in here. This one's kind of at an angle here, so we can hit this at an angle and make our adjustment this way. So, but I'm gonna we're gonna look at this from the front, and we're gonna go ahead and adjust this. I'm only going to turn this about five notches at a time. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five. And then I want to go ahead and put my drum back on and I want to check it. So I'm going to put this back on. It should go on nicely. And I want it just to start to drag. And it's just starting to drag a little bit. And what we can do is go ahead and check the e brake again. We'll go ahead and pull this up. It's going to make quick to go. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're getting close. I want to adjust this a little bit more. So I'm just I'm not even, I'm just going to leave this on. One way, once you're close, one way you can do this is actually get this, turn it from the back, and kind of as you're adjusting this, turn it and you can kind of get a sense of how much it's pulling. That's probably good. Maybe it's a little too much, but that's that's good enough. I want it just to start to drag. It shouldn't really free wheel, free wheel or spin. So that's good. I'm going to go back to our gonna parking brake and go ahead and pull the handle. It's all the way down. I'm going to pull one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is locked. That's perfect. Okay. So once we get that adjusted, we're good. Um, go ahead and put your lug nuts back on. Now, the other part of this lab is we need to check the brake lights. Um, on our trainer here, um, we've got what's called a brake warning lamp. Now, you want to check that and make sure that's working properly. This is going to come on when our e emergency brake is on. So, you, you would have this on, on the dashboard. It would say uh, emergency brake or parking brake. We also want to check our lamps in the back. When we push down on our brake, someone needs to go in the back and see if our tail lights go on um, right and left. Okay, we want to make sure that they're working properly. So, you need to have someone in the car step on the brake with the key on and someone in the back to make sure that both our brake lights come on. 
and then you want to note that on your lab packet here on the lab. Okay, once you get all of those things done, um, come get me. The only last thing I want you to do though is make sure you know what the wheel torque spec is for that rear wheel over here. So um, if you are working on a light car, that you know how, how much torque you need to put on those wheels or on the, the lug nuts in order to make sure the wheel is on properly. Um, that's not on your lab, in your lab packet, but I want you to note that on your lab packet as well, the wheel torque. And if you're working on a car, I want you to torque those wheels to that specific torque. Okay? Uh, any other questions, come and get me, and that should be it.